Sorry, George. You know fall is my favorite season. It's finally upon us. I just love it. Well, that may be true, but we have a new show to get started. Good morning, Gators. By the end of today, we want to teach you about my favorite season, fall. GNN starts now. That's Bell the show. Gator. I pledge to do my best. Hey, Gators. As I mentioned before, we're going to be talking about my favorite season, fall. Fall marks the time of year when the days get shorter, the tree's leaves begin to change color, and when we start to pull out our warmer clothes. Here are some interesting facts. Fall is typically defined by a point in the Earth's orbit around the sun, the equinox. The equinox is when the sun passes the equator's path and positions directly above the equator. One of the most stunning signs of autumn is turning of the leaves. The shorter days are assigned to trees to begin to prepare for winter. During winter, there is not enough light for photosynthesis to occur. So as the days shorten throughout autumn, the trees begin to close down the, their food production systems and reduce the amount of chlorophyll in their leaves. One of the other aspects about fall is fall is typically a time where we eat more. That's because we have so many holidays, such as Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Unfortunately, some families are in need at this time of year. Coming up is our GNN reporter, Ryan, who is telling us how you can help. When you think of a holiday feast, you think of an abundant amount of food on the kitchen table. For some, that just isn't the case. Fortunately, there's an opportunity for you to help. There are many reasons why families may not have meals during the holiday seasons such as loss of job and unplanned financial hardships. Our canned food drive is to support Lighthouse Ministries, and Lighthouse Ministries is a program that helps people in need in our community so they can provide clothing and food and other assistance to those who may need it. Our school is holding a canned food drive to help these families in need. Blue barrels have been placed in the cafeteria to hold these canned goods. There are certain kind of items that cannot go into these barrels. Items we accept in the big blue barrels are canned goods, canned items such as this. We ask that you please do not bring any bagged items because they get crushed when the cans go in there and then they can't be used. So next time you walk by these barrels in the cafeteria, remember they're not for trash, but instead a canned food for families in need. Donations will be accepted until Friday, November 2nd. I'm Ryan, reporting for GNN. Another one of my favorite parts about fall is being able to go to the pumpkin patch with my family. I go with my family too, but it's always such a hassle to find the perfect one because there's only one problem. What is it? That there's too many choices in all shapes and sizes that it's hard to find the perfect one. As you're walking around campus, as you're sitting in class, and as you're sitting at lunch, you might look around and see other students that don't look or talk the same as you. Our school will be hosting an event to showcase these differences we all share. Spessard Holland Elementary is going to be hosting its first ever multicultural night the night of November 29th to celebrate the diversity we have at school. It's really interesting over the past couple of years I've seen the demographics here at Spessard change. Um, I've seen a lot of students from various countries come, they speak different languages and I wanted to learn more about who they are and I, I think we can all benefit from learning from each other. Multicultural nights are very important because our days are full of multicultural people, events, food and dress. There are many students at Spessard whose family comes from different countries. Some of these include China, Colombia, Germany, Haiti, Holland, India, Jamaica, Russia, and Poland, to name any more. So we're going to have a couple performances. Our ukulele club's going to play representing the United States. We're going to have our first graders sing a couple songs from different countries. We've had a couple families offer to dance some traditional dances from their countries. We're going to have a, a food festival where parents can purchase food tickets and they can go around the different stations and sample the different foods from each country with each ticket that they purchase. Many countries had different foods. That brings us to today's Brain Buster question. The national dish of Iceland is hoka. This meat takes four or five months to prepare. It is often served in cubes on toothpicks. What kind of meat is this national dish? Is it A, beef, 
B, pork, C, shark, or D, moose? If you guess C, shark, you are correct. The good news is this dish won't be served at Multicultural Night. This event will be free for students and parents. You'll be learning more about this event in your classes. I'm Brayden, reporting for JNN. Wow, great job, Lauren. That I think when you put it by the front door, it might scare off all the trick-or-treaters. Thanks for highlighting my pumpkin, George, but we need to highlight some of the students here at school. Recently, a few of our course students were chosen for all state course. Let's go take a look. If you walk behind this room behind me, you might hear beautiful sounds coming out of it. It just may be the students practicing for all state and honors. Recently, two of our students, Campbell McCroskey and Ruby Stone, was chosen for All-State Chorus. So we had two students chosen for All-State. One was Campbell McCroskey. This is her second year making All-State. And we had Ruby Stone that also made All-State. But they did something new this year where they added a regional honors chorus. And our other three students were chosen for that. So Michaela Childress, um, Kerrigan Smith, and Amelie Peterson all made the regional honors choir. The students were very excited when they found out they were chosen. I was so happy. I literally bounced around and I was crying tears of joy. I felt a mix of emotions. I felt happy. I felt a little scared about going on stage, performing in front of a lot of people. Um, I felt really excited. I was a little bit surprised, but I was like more excited than anything. Now that the students have been chosen, it's time for them to practice for the spring performance. I will keep on like practicing at home and keep on singing. Congrats to the people who made it to Allstate and Honors. I'm Avery reporting for GNN. A downside of fall is that the days get shorter, which means we have less time to play outside. I know, right? And it seems like the days go by faster. It seems like this new show has. But before we go, we need to fill them in on our 411. Are you interested in getting a book or two? The school's next book fair will start next week, Monday, October 29th. We'll run through Friday, November 2nd. Tuesday, October 30th, will be our next literacy night from 4.30 to 6.30. Don't forget to bring your parents because we have some fun activities for you. Just an early reminder, our next early missile will be Wednesday, November 7th. Let's see what we're having for lunch. Pizza, yogurt snack, or chicken Caesar salad. This has been our school's 411. There you go, folks. That's all the news you can use for today. From all of us at GNN to you, have a happy fall day of learning. And don't forget to stand for those pledges. Have a great day.